Hey YouTube, how y'all doing? Good, I hope. Um, <laughs> I wanted to come on here because I um I've been doing videos and I said that I was going to stay consistent, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to tell y'all about my day yesterday. Yesterday, I had to go to school to do my financial aid because I got terminated, but they fixed it. Um, I got, matter of fact, I got to look at my account today, but right I was going to look at it at 8 o'clock. It's like 7 o'clock where I am. It's like 7 o'clock in Detroit right now, in East Detroit. No, it's 7.51. It's almost 8. Sorry. But, um, yeah, I, I went to school to do my paperwork. I had to, I had to show them proof, supporting documents to show them that my fucking chair broke down but luckily I had the receipt for the part and I as I, I just kept asking the lady from um financial aid is this enough and she was like oh yes yeah all you gotta do is so basically what they want you to do is show proof and I had to do another sup I had to explain why I dropped my classes and everything that I wrote down in that letter is the truth about what happened. Y'all know what happened because y'all know how upset I was and how upset I still am because they talking about some, oh, I can't get the chair wet. I can't take it out. And wooty woo, wooty woo. So I'm going to still have to take my manual wheelchair anyway. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to the person that was nice enough to get me the manual wheelchair. Shout out to you. Um, Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really do appreciate you. But I, I had to do all of that. Then I had to sit in this room and wait until they call. 161. Y'all, it took them forever. I sat in there forever waiting on them to call. 161. 161. 161. Um, also, too, I, I had to sit in the building... You know, because it's freezing in Detroit. I ain't even gonna lie to you. It's cold as a motherfucker in Detroit. So, like, I was explaining to one of the administrators, Mr. Samson. Uh, he knows my sister and stuff like that. Like, I was explaining to him, like, uh, that African guy, he don't, he didn't want me in the building. And I also explained it to the access lady over at that campus. You get what I'm saying? So, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm really not for the foolishness this year, you know, and I know what y'all are going to say, like, you can't just sit outside. I'm talking about, it was freezing yesterday, but I, I ain't sit outside, y'all, um, but, like I said, um, that other guy, that African guy, he he's downtown. So <laughs> that's going to be a big, big problem once I go downtown. Because I go downtown Thursday and Saturday. So, you know. I go downtown those days. Um, but, like, I know, like I said, that I want to give up, which I still do. I ain't even going to lie, because this is a lot. This is a lot being in a 
wheelchair, trying to go to school, trying to do something with my life. You get what I'm saying? And not just sitting on my butt all day saying, ooh, I'm going to collect the check. I just feel like that's not the business. And that's not what I'm supposed to, I'm not supposed to be sitting down. I But, y'all, I got all this drive and all this energy to do this. Like, y'all, literally, every semester, I'm taking three classes. Literally. Three. All at one time. Three. I'm not taking four. I'm taking three. Three is the max. So, you know, I'm taking three this semester and all that type of stuff. But I, like, yesterday, I really started to wonder in my mind, like, what am I doing all this shit for? Like, I know I I, want to do it. This is something I know I can do. This is something that I know I'm capable of doing, but... My, 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 I got to jump through so many hurdles. You, you know what I mean? I, I got to use Macho if I have to get on, I have to deal with that shit. You know what I mean? So, I, there's so many hurdles I have to jump through. And at this point, at this point, I'm tired. Of having to jump through hurdles just because I want to get an education. Because I I feel like knowledge is is great. Some people may feel like you don't need to go to college and all this stuff. And let me pull out, let me put a full disclaimer in this video. College is not for everybody. College is for me because that is what I wanted to do. And it's something that I know I can do. But at the end of the day, sometimes I sit back and I wonder, like, do I really want to do this? Because it's a lot. It's a lot. Like these last three months, I I haven't been doing nothing just sitting in my house because they because they um couldn't figure out what the problem is and they figured out what the problem is now so I'm glad about that but I mean I mean I'm I'm trying Because I really don't understand where I get all this drive and energy and all this type of stuff to get up and do what I have to do at this point. I don't know where I get all this stuff from at this point. I don't. But anyway, y'all, I just came in here to talk to y'all and tell y'all how my day was yesterday, and, you know, just have a really, a really transparent conversation, and I think it was, but like I said, I don't know where I get all this energy from, all this drive, all this stamina from, I don't know where I get it from, because most people in a wheelchair they, you know, they don't want to get up and do nothing. Oh, <laughs> she said, I, this lady, she saw me at the Northwest campus and she said, I remind her of her nephew. You know what I mean? But, I mean, at the end of the day, it it's kind of, I feel like, sometimes I feel like, I'm being a little bit unrealistic. Well, sometimes I feel like I'm being unrealistic with myself considering the limitations that I do have considering I have to wait on that to live. Like yesterday. 
They were supposed to pick me up between 1 and one thirty. However, I like I told y'all, I was sitting there waiting on them to call. 161. That's a lucky number. I was sitting there waiting on them to call. 161. So, I called Metro Lift and they said that they can schedule me a pickup time between 6, 6 to 6.30. So, you know, but other than that, y'all, let me know what you guys think about this video. This is going to be a Ralph talk. Um, yeah, but let me know what you guys think. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Deuces.